North America, the land that we love. It looks pretty familiar, don't you think? Well, think again. The ground we walk on is full of surprises. If you know where to look. As a geologist, the Grand Canyon is perhaps the best place in the world. Every single one of these layers tells its own story about what North America was like when that layer was deposited. So you ready for a little time traveling? I'm Kirk Johnson, the director of the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. And in this three-part Nova special, I'll take you on the field trip of a lifetime. Look at that rock right there. That is crazy. To find out, how did our amazing continent get to be the way it is? Underneath Lake Superior, that's about 30 miles. 30 miles of volcanic rock. How did the landscape shape the creatures who lived and died here? Doesn't look like much, but this layer is Armageddon. And how did we turn the rocks of our homeland oh, man. into riches? This thing is phenomenal. We'll hunt down the clues to our continent's epic past. Some right in the heart of New York City. Whoa! I've always wanted to do this. This place was once surrounded by mountains as high as the Rockies, but now they're eroded away to nothing. We know one thing for sure in geology, no landscape is permanent. Why did North America give rise to so many different kinds of dinosaurs? Yikes, that makes a grizzly bear look like nothing. The secret may lie in Kansas. Let's go find some fossils, huh? All right. This giant fish once swam in a huge inland sea that split our continent in half for more than 20 million years. This jaw is huge. I mean, this must have been an immense fish. 14 feet long. 14 foot long fish in Kansas. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> but what about us? How did we get here? 20,000 years ago, much of North America was locked behind an enormous wall of ice. Here we go. Now, this is not the easiest thing in the world. You know, it's, it's hard to imagine somebody crossing even one ice field like this 25,000 years ago. This is insane. Unforgiving, yet rewarding, this land's treasures helped build our civilization, offering riches born in a violent past. I've always thought of earthquakes as very destructive kinds of things. Every time you look at a vein of quartz, you're really seeing an ancient earthquake. It's the way to the gold. Wow, incredible. It's an epic tale, playing out over four billion years. A journey of discovery through our own backyard. <laughs> As we peel back the layers. Peel it back and turn back the clock. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Palm tree in Alaska. Find out what's hiding beneath our feet. Making North America this fall on Nova.